Good day guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm gonna teach you how to make a kick-ass intro whether it's for your gaming videos, for your Instagram videos, for your YouTube videos, for your whatever videos and it's completely free to do. Like I said, this is completely free and you can do it on your PC, your Mac, your tablet and even your smartphone. It's going to be a little bit clunky on your smartphone, but I'm sure you'll figure it out if that's the only option that you have. Now before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button on the way down to the description where you will find all the links that you need for today's tutorial. Now with that said, let's head over to the iPad and let's get ourselves some awesome intros because you can get as many as you want and you can customize them as you wish and if you want to dive a little bit deeper, you can make your own. So now that we moved over to the iPad, we're gonna move straight over to our web browser and type in Pansoid. Pansoid is basically the same as After Effects and Cinema 4D where you can create your own 3D space and 3D animation. Now once we're inside of Pansoid, we're gonna go over to the image which says Clip Maker here on the top left corner. Tapping on that, you will see the same screen as you see here right now. Now on the left side here, you can see the latest templates, but what I suggest that you do is to go all the way down to the bottom here where you see more creations. Tapping on that, you will see the whole library of templates to choose from. So we're gonna go and select one that we want to have. You can also find different types of intros here, whether you want it to be clean and simple, or if you want something which is upbeat and really, you know, going fast. So there's a lot of different things to choose from and different things to customize. Now, if we move all the way to the top here, you can choose between three different tabs and a search bar. So we have trending, latest, and top. Now, let's say if you, have a channel which contains um, a majority of one color let's say orange or red blue yellow green you can basically go to the search bar here and type in that particular color and you will find templates which is mainly made with that color now let's say if you want to have something for YouTube for Instagram for anything like that just type in the different keywords and you will find the available templates uh, to choose from which contains that keyword now let's say your channel is multicolored and and you're not really into one specific color, then we can go on and we can type in rainbow. Now, once we typed in rainbow, you can see we have a lot of different templates coming up here with the rainbow and RGB colors here. So there's a lot of different templates to choose from. Now let's move on and find one that we like. Let's take this rainbow intro, super cool. Now, after tapping on that, you can see the image here and you can also see open in clip maker on the bottom of the image. So we're gonna go on and tap on open in clip maker and then you should see the exact same screen as you see right here. Now, this doesn't really look like the thumbnail or the image that we clicked on, right? But that's because this is in 3D space and this is basically the customization and the camera mode. So to change this, we can move over to the eyeball, which is down here. Tapping on that, you will be able to see what is going to be the final outcome of the render. So tapping on the eyeball here and then play, you will see what's going to be the final outcome, which is now having all the different colors that we saw on the image as well. So make sure that you use the eyeball here to see the final outcome of the render and the customization that you've done to the project. Now let's move over to the one which is right here. It has wings and the text name. Let's customize this and change it a little bit and then do an export of this before we drag it over to Luma Fusion. Now tapping on a new project, you will automatically see the 3D camera space here. So you will need to tap on the eyeball for each template that you preview. Now tapping on the eyeball and then play, we can see how this looks. It looks pretty awesome, but I want to change the colors and the text and a little bit to this uh, template before I do the export. 
I also want to make sure that the resolution matches the resolution of this video. So we're going to go over to the box with the check mark and here you can see video resolution. This is set to 1080p by default, but this video is 4K, so I'm going to change this to 4K. Now for the frame rate, you can choose 30 or 60. If you make 60 FPS videos, you choose 60. And if you make 30 FPS videos, you choose 30. Now if you make videos in 23.98 FPS, you can also choose 30. Now when it comes to the length of the intro, you can tap on the numbers and type in your custom number if you want the intro to be shorter or longer. But you do this at your own risk because it might change the final outcome of the intro. Now let's move over to music and the audio. All these templates comes with some sort of a music file. So if you care about monetization and you don't want to risk being demonetized and you want to grow your channel and eventually earn some money, uh, then I suggest uh, muting uh, this track and then import your own custom music. If, for example, Epidemic Sound or any other source if you have a subscription there, which will keep your intro and your channel copyright free. So make sure to mute this if you care about your or a channel's monetization options, or if your channel is monetized and you don't want to risk being a copyright claimed for using a different track which you don't have a license to use. Now also make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and give this video a like for the algorithm if you haven't already. That really helps me grow this channel and make future videos. Now let's go over to the 3D box here, the square, where we can do all the different customizations. So most of the times you only want to change the text. So we're going to go over and we're going to find the group which says text. Now here we're going to just tap on the text and name. We're going to do two taps and then we will see the edit section down below. So here you can change the text to something you like. So I'm going to change this to rubbish K and I'm going to do the same thing with the one on the bottom here. Now once we change the text here, if we take a look further down, you can see that you can do different changes with placement, rotation and scale. Now I'm interested in the one that says color. So I'm going to tap on the color here and I want to change this color to orange. So I have this orange outline around the text. Now let's move over to the other text layer here and I want this to be black so I'm going to change this to black. So we now have Robich K being in black with orange lines around it. Now I also want to change the wings here to orange. So I'm going to go down until I find the group wings, tap on the B and then change the color to orange, go down to the other layer and change that to orange as well. So now we have changed the text and the color of the template. But there is another thing here, which is the particles. The particles is uh, sort of blue neon, and I want these to be the same color as the wings and text. So we're going to go to the top here until we find particles, and we're going to tap on particles. And in the colors here, we can change the color to whatever color we want. So I'm going to go on and change this first gradient here to the, uh, the same blue, but then orange, and then the light parts is going to be white. Now moving over to the other one I'm gonna change this to pure orange and keep it like that so we'll have some different effects to the particles as well once they come in now once we've done these changes we can go down and we can tap on the play button here and we can take a look at the customized template so now let's say we're happy with the template and the way it looks. So let's export this so we can add it to LumaFusion or the editing program of your choice. Well, let's move over to the download button, which is here under the sidebar here. Now here we have mode and format. So under mode, you can see fastest render, balanced, good quality and extreme. So extreme is going to take a very long time, a couple of minutes, 10, 10, 15 minutes, maybe depending on the duration of the template. So we're going to go for balanced and then we're going to change the format to or we can actually keep it at MKV uh, because it doesn't really matter because we need to convert this later anyway. So let's go with MKV and then tap on start video render. Now once the video render is complete, you can see download your video. We're going to tap on download your video that will open up a new tab and you will be asked if you want to download this video. So we're going to tap on download here on the top right corner. We can see that we downloaded the video dot MKV six. Now we need to convert this over to something like MOV or MP4 because otherwise it won't work in LumaFusion and it might not work on your desktop 
either. So we need to convert this by using an online converter. So we're going to open up a new tab here and then we're going to type in video converter and we're going to tap on convert online video. All the links will also be down in the description below. Now, once we've done that, we're going to move over to open file. Then we're going to go to browse and we're going to find the latest render or import to our uh, files folder. Now, if you go to the four boxes on the top right corner here, you can choose a date. This will leave the latest import or render or export to your iPad uh, to the top left corner, uh, which we see here, the video.mkv6. So we're going to tap on that to upload it to the converter. Once the upload is complete, you can choose between the different formats here, but we're going to go with MOV and the resolution is going to be from source 4K and we're going to tap on convert. Now, once the convert is done, we're going to tap on the big download button here. You can also save it to Google Drive and Dropbox if you want to do that. But for this video, we're going to tap on the download button. And you can see here on the top right corner that we now downloaded the video. To get this fast over to LumaFusion, I'm just going to tap hold on it and then just uh, swipe up and open up LumaFusion and drag it over to the timeline and let's go. The intro has now been imported to the imported and shared folder inside of LumaFusion and we can see it here on the bottom left section. The next step now is to drag this over to our timeline and take a look at the intro and see what it looks like. Now we also created a bunch of other intros using the same method and it's really, really fast, extremely easy to use and you can really customize it as you want. You can dive deeper into the customization of Pansoid and you can create your own different animations from scratch if you want to do that as well. So this is something which is really easy to do. It's completely free. So there's a bunch of different templates that you can use. And like I said earlier, there's different varieties. If you want it to be spiced up a bit, go super fast a lot of effects or if you want it to be just super clean now all the links are down in the description below and on the way down there make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already that would be highly appreciated also the like for the algorithm so there we have a very quick and efficient way of creating a really nice spiced up intro which you're not going to be able to make in luma fusion and you don't have to pay for after effects or cinema 4d so it's basically you know like I said, you can create your own custom uh, animations in there and intros, but it's going to be a little bit, you know, a little bit of work, just like it is with the other editing softwares like After Effects and Cinema 4D anyway. So with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Also on the way down there, subscribe button and the notification bell and the like for the algorithm. That will be appreciated. So that's going to be the end of today's video and I will see you in the next one.